welcome to the show everyone. Thank you. In our show, we're having a special guest coming in soon, William Golding. William wrote a novel called Lord of the Flies. This amazing novel is the best novel I have ever read. And I truly recommend you, the viewers, to dig in and read it. William was a writer, playwright, and even a poet. And has even written another book that was awarded Booker Prize in 1980, Rites of Passage, becoming his C trilogy. Just a little insight in the story, a plane crashes onto some mysterious island with a bunch of British boys with no grown-ups, leading to huge consequences as the boys continue making choices for their survival. Let's give William a warm welcome as he joins the show. Why did you exclude this new chapter from this marvelous novel? So at the time, I didn't really release this new chapter because I really thought that the ending was, you know, it, I thought it was perfect, you know, like the Navajo officer picked up the boys. It This ending really left, like, I thought that the, like, this would, you know, really, really leave the people, like, reading, like, thinking. But in the, in the back of my head, like, I really thought, like, is this true? Like, I want to, like, for this new ending, like, I wanted to put, like, a happy ending with some more action and, you know, give the reader a lesson to carry on and embrace and use it to learn and even pass on to others. For the past years, I've been always fighting that conclusion with the, oh, should I really do this? Should I, should I just leave it where it is? But I finally decided to do it because Hopefully, it will give the reader a lesson to embrace and share with others to make themselves and humanity a better place. I see. So you're trying to help the world throughout your novels. Very interesting. Okay, now to the second question. What can we really expect from this new chapter that you have written? I love that question. Let's dig right into it. So what to expect in this chapter? You are going to expect some deaths occurring. You're gonna be expecting uh, two sides fighting. As you know, this storyline was, it took place during the Cold War and the World War II timeline. So do expect those two sides, you know, clashing out. We are gonna, this story will have more action and will have a happy ending. In the chapter, you will see some form of friendship reuniting, tying up loose ends, and really having that happy ending for the happy atmosphere. Good lord, now I wanna read chapter 13. It, it sounds so interesting. With that as we shall move on to the third question. What was your inspiration to create this release chapter? Well, as an old writer and being a part of World War II and the Cold War, I wanted the last chapter to relate to those events because I feel like if I didn't, the new chapter wouldn't really connect based on the previous chapters. I believe it will make the reader confused and lose some interest throughout the story. And to prevent that outcome, I related it to the two wars. D-Day was a huge inspiration for me as it showed how much hope there is even though you're on the verge of losing. That day inspired me to put a message in this chapter to show everyone that no matter how down you are that, that there is always hope and you gotta keep pushing and grinding to make your way and get that victory wow that was a truly amazing answer we have two more questions to tackle so let's dig right in why would you release the chapter now it's been so long i decided to release the new chapter now because of the children and students in this generation. They are the future of this planet, our lives, and technology. I believe that all young students and children should learn the basic lessons such as hope because with technology consuming their minds, they forget lessons that can be used to help them in the future and help them thrive in this world. That makes perfect sense. Now, last question. What do you believe this new release chapter really adds to 
the story. I believe the new release chapter I added to the story makes the story a little more attractive to others as it represents three lessons being a world without grown-ups having hope and never giving up. I also believe that, that, that this new chapter gives the story more uh, action aspect as throughout the story it's mostly talking and that makes the reader more engaged with the story while learning life lessons. I see. Well, Golden, we had a blast having you in our show. We thank you for coming out and filling us in in your brand new release chapter. I had a blast answering all these questions. Thank you, Pra, for having me on the show. Welcome everyone to a new, brand new episode of Prod the Frog's new live TV show where we interview book authors. So for this new installment of the episode TV show, we are going to be interviewing the one, the only, the author of Captain Underpants, Dave Piggy. Oh, thank you, thank you Prof for having me on the show, I truly appreciate it. So Dave, in your book there is a part where, you know, these two kids, they pull a prank by, you know, pulling ketchup underneath a toilet seat. How did you come up with that idea? Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I've just been living online, my city don't show me no loving, that's fine.